What I like to do when I mix is to bring out the richness of the instruments, number one. And then it's a matter of creating a beautiful space for the music to be in. One of the problems we face today with jazz is that everybody's recording in small rooms which don't have a nice ambience or a nice sound. And so that needs to be added in the mix. And to me, it's very important to get that right because number one, it creates space between the instruments. It puts them in a nice place, but it also creates enough space that you can hear the details and you can hear the interaction, which is so important in jazz. And if everything's right on top of everything else and there isn't much space there, it makes it actually quite hard to hear all that. But adding the right amount of space and ambience allows the ear to actually pick out more clearly what's going on. The other big thing I think is if you create a nice rich tone for the instruments, it invites the listener in and allows them to immerse themselves in the music and lose themselves in the music. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. The first thing I do in mastering is to fix any problems. Oftentimes when mixes come to me, there is one problem or another, there's often a problem in the low end, or there's a resonance, harshness, something like that. Once that's sorted out, the next stage is to enhance the mix. And that might mean adding some punch to the low end, it might mean adding some sparkle, or opening out the mix. But it depends in the end on the genre. And that's why it's important to know all the different genres of jazz and really helps to know all that. One of the things I think I bring to mixing and mastering is that I'm a jazz musician myself. Um, I know the music inside out. I know the whole history of it. I know all the different genres of it and subgenres. And that makes it really easy when I'm working with an artist to communicate about exactly what they're looking for. And also, you know, I've played with a lot of great jazz musicians and work with many jazz musicians so I know what goes on in the jazz session and that really helps me to know what to bring out in a mix. And the other thing is that it makes it really easy for artists to communicate with me because we speak the same language. So I find that really useful when mixing and mastering. <laughs> 